Hey, this is Pat from Rain Country Homestead. I'm over here at my son's house and we're remodeling. Uh, he bought a bank repo and so now we're in the process of putting in floors. Uh, all the floors were in bad shape so we're going to replace all the flooring. Uh, his girlfriend refinished all the cabinets. They were painted red of all colors. And we installed new uh, light fixtures and here's here's the uh, chandelier that I re uh, finished for those guys um, we put the ball of mason jars on there for them and that's in another video but we've been uh, slowly doing some remodeling here cleaning things up like I said, Kayla, she uh, refinished all the cabinets. They're in pretty good shape now. We painted the popcorn ceiling, painted all the walls, and uh, we just went ahead and shot that. We prepped and painted. Ryan, he took and taped everything, and then one day I just came in and I went ahead and just shot all the uh, walls and ceiling at the same time and uh, He replaced all the lights with LED lights. We dropped all the fixtures when we went to paint and so that's all all fresh paint there He's gonna have to we got the Carpet folks gonna come in and go ahead and replace all the all the carpets in here as you can see they're circa 1970 and um, so that's all going to be replaced. We did some sheetrock work in some of these corners. There was some broken sheetrock uh, in a few places. We actually installed that chandelier. They got that from a garage sale someplace, and so we had shortened it up and rehung that. All of the uh, uh, that was pretty loose up there with that mount in there, so we had to climb up into the ceiling and shore that up some to where it would hang so it was nice and strong. So all of that's been redone. We had to shorten that, um, had to shorten that drop pole there. And so today we're going to work on his bathroom. So we took the tub out had an old cast iron tub we just came back from the dump and we got a new he's gonna put on an all new uh, toilet we're gonna put in a new tub a new surround uh, he's talking about putting in a new um, single um, cast surround in here so we had to pull all this out at one time they had a leak in the roof and so the sheetrock was sagging here, so we removed all the sheetrock that was bad. This right here around where the fan is, we're going to have to shore that up. We're going to jack that up with a little uh, two by cross piece, two by four, and then refasten it. And then we have to tape and mud everything, of course. So uh, he got a deeper tub. And so incidentally, we're going to have to do a little bit of sweating. We're going to have to reconfigure all this copper uh, right in here where the where the T is all this all this has to come up and the floor drainage and stuff like that has to be removed and we'll put brand new uh, drainage in here um, the toilet flange and everything was, was broken so we're gonna replace all that with a new piece of wood and so Today, that's what we're up to. We're going to do a little bit of sweating today. So, um, we've replaced all the guts inside of the of the one way at the single handle valve there. We replaced all the guts of that last weekend. And so, uh, we're going to have to get busy. So, just thought I'd give you an update on Ryan's new house, new to him, and uh, this is one of the bedrooms here, 
all been repainted upstairs and downstairs a split entry home this room here was in terrible shape there was holes in the wall so I came in here and uh, back in the late 70s early 80s when this was built um, it's all heavy knockdown so we replaced uh, some of the some of the sheetrock in here and refinished this wall so everything inside of the uh, closets and whatnot it's all fresh paint so all the floors coming out all new floors going in and so just want to give you an update well get busy yeah here. so this right here you can you can take your your skill saw and just plunge cut this in here plunge cut that in there and then you can take the jigsaw and work that around uh, we could also take a drill and a bit and like uh, cut a half inch hole right here and you can just take the jigsaw and cut cut that inside hole out right mm -hmm. but you can also take the take the saw and cut that square out and then finish it out with a jigsaw finish your cuts out with a jigsaw so that's where the toilet's going to go we took all measurements and that's where the toilet flange will go through the floor and this is where the tub will go through the the drain for the tub will go through the floor you want me to plunge cut this for you bud while you're working on that sure maybe we should take like a, a drill bit and go through there first ah uh, you could uh you got a good set of drill bits don't you yeah you got i don't grab them yeah. scratch the paint if you need I it. sure will. <laughs> yeah, I want to break it up for you, bud. Make sure you 
be. You like it? Just like it's supposed to, huh? That ought to hold down toilet. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot better once we get the toilet on there. Yeah? You want your bidet back on there? No. No? That would have been kind of exciting to have on there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got to pull all this apart, huh? So we got to raise all of that up, haul the plumbing up, because you got a taller tub. And he wants to raise the valve, uh, hot water, cold water regulating valve up higher. And um, the guy's got to adjust that because we've got another half inch, half inch of plywood down here on the subfloor. Um, they only had one layer, so we continuously put a, a layer clear through here uh, to make the floor stronger. And so we'll raise, we'll raise all that up to match the uh, the tub. There's a hole in the tub. It's a steel tub uh, that'll accommodate the the uh, outflow for the faucet there. So right now he's running a little pipe cutter in here, and it's pretty handy to run. Uh, this little tiny pipe cutter uh, is good for fitting into tight spots. He's got a cut. Let's see. Take a look at that little guy. Nice. Okay. That goes clear for three quarter inches by the way. It's actually you want to heat it from one side and you want to apply the solder from the other and then it'll 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 run around that way you can mm. tell it's it's done. On the bottom side, you do the same thing. And on the bottom, sometimes it gets a little bit tricky because you're around. Uh, yeah, have the gravity working with you. Yeah. Thank you. 